long ago in the distant future, over 200,000 miles from the safety of Earth. A terrible secret lay buried, imprisoned beneath the surface of that great glowing orb in the night sky, the moon. But that ancient secret will not remain hidden for long. For soon, mankind will meddle with the malevolent lunar forces and unleash the most unholy terror ever to torment the turbulent galaxy. Goblin One, do you read? This is Control. Over. I read you, Control. How's everything back on Earth? <laughs> Still a mess. Anything to report? Sergei's playing with his rocks again. Baxter's exploring a topological anomaly. I am not playing with rocks, Fred. I am collecting samples. <laughs> Always so serious. What's this about a topological anomaly? Goblin 3, Baxter, do you read? You see, Control, I was doing a survey up on the ridge, and there is this weird sort of shape sticking out under the surface. And so I've just been digging and digging and... I, I, it seems to me like there might be some kind of structure down there. Structure? Like a building? It sure is shooting control. Here, you ought to be getting a feed from my spacesuit camera about now. You see, there's some kind of weird markings all around the entrance. Holy crap, is that writing? I reckon it looks that way. Elaine! Elaine, get over here! What's up, Bummer? Look. Okay, okay. Hey. Is this a live feed? Yeah. Okay. Is that some kind of writing? On the moon? What in tarnation? What is that? Some kind of energy or doodad, I guess. Be, be careful with that. Tell, tell him to be careful. Baxter, careful with that. Oopsie daisy. Oh, looks like I'm out of crack then. Uh -oh. What's wrong with the picture? Baxter, oh, no. Baxter, what's going on? Oh no! God unleash some kind of ancient evil. Get him back. Baxter, what's happening? Get what, him do you, back. what do you mean ancient evil? Fred, Sergey, do you guys have eyes on Baxter? Affirmative. That is negative. That is, well, we did have eyes on him, but he's gone now. Um, God, what do you mean, gone? He's gone. Dead like a doornail. Dead? What What happened? Oh, no, oh, no it's Moon Ghost. Oh, oh, God, God. Oh, God. What's happening? The lines are all dead. What's that thing?
that. Yeah. What was that? Sounded like a crash or something. Y you know, there were some up in the sky first, like like a meteor or an asteroid or something. You don't think? Visitors, Visitors from, from another, another world. world. Think we should investigate? It could be dangerous. <laughs> That's why we got these. Might be right about that, Willie. Let's go get some. Let's hurry this up, Willie. It's getting late. What are you, scared? <laughs> hey! Look at there. That don't look like any meteor I've ever seen. Ain't that a meteorite? Huh? When it lands. I think it's called a meteorite when it lands. Shut up, George. Careful, Willie. There might be some kind of hungry goo monster in it. You know, like in that old Steve McQueen movie. That's a movie, George. This is real life. There ain't no monsters. Besides, I just want to touch it. Willie. Hey, Willie. Careful, Willie. I guess ain't no monster. You think it's valuable? Well, yeah. The Meg heads at NASA would probably pay a fortune for a genuine meteor from Mars. Meteorite. Shut up, George. Well, I'm just glad there ain't no monster in it. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> 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 Hey, Selena. Oh, sorry. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Okay, well, uh, we're gonna go play some hide and seek. You want in? Oh, come on. You spend way too much time by yourself. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Is she coming? No. Selena, it's hide and seek. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. What are you gonna do out here by yourself? Thank you. <laughs> come on, babe. Please. Hide and seek. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. All right. Who is it? Are you kidding me? It, first round of hide and seek. I'm always it. All right. You count to fifty. <laughs> we'll go hide. Okay. All right. <laughs> Okay, one, uh, <laughs> two, uh, <laughs> uh, 22, uh, 23, <laughs> 24, 25, <laughs> 20. Guys? 26, uh, 27, do you hear that? Hear what? That spooky moaning. I don't hear any moaning. Yet. <sighs> 41. 42, 43, 44. Cut it out, guys. 44, 45. I can't look at you guys right now. You better not be doing anything stupid. 46, 47, 48, 
Ready or not, here I come. Where are you, Lisa? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get all three of you. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Let's get to the tent before it gets dark. Yeah, you, you could use some rest. Okay. Everything will be okay. <laughs> ah! This is Sergeant Hooper. What can I... Wait, wait. Slow down. Ho hold on. Hold on. Just tell me what happened. Slowly. You say you're camping in the woods with your friends. And you say a ghost monster killed your friend? You say it ripped his head off and ate him. Look, kid, this is crazy talk. There's no such thing as ghost monsters. And even if there were, what do you expect us to do about it? You say there aren't such things as ghost monsters, and even if there were, what would I expect you to do about it? Your job. Okay, my friend is dead. Dead. Come out here and investigate. You say your friend is dead? Dead? And you want us to come out and investigate? <sighs> okay, fine. I'll send someone out. Where are you? Old Willow's campground. All right, sit tight, kid. What's the rumpus, Hooper? Ah, some wacko kid says a ghost monster bit the head off his friend and then ate him. A ghost monster? Where's the location? You really want this one? Yes. You got it, Sal. Did someone scream? No. Oh. Okay. What am I gonna tell Fritz's parents? Tell them the truth. They're not gonna believe it. I'm not sure I do, and I was there. What about the funeral? Do you think there's anything left to bury? God, he was three chapters away from finishing his first novel. Why did this happen? You can't be thinking about this right now, Lisa, okay? We have to just focus on getting out of here. Right, Selena? If you say so. So not helping. Nothing can help us now. Hey, are you the 
one to call the police about a murder? Detective Sally Loomis. Jerry, and uh, this is my girlfriend, Selena, and this is our platonic friend, Lisa. My boyfriend is the one who, who? The one who was eaten by a ghost monster. <laughs> there, there, there. Uh -huh. Show me where this happened. for over 20 years and this is the grossest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, it was really scary. Did you say that a ghost monster did this? I guess so. I mean, it was like a white and flowy like a Halloween sheet, but there were no legs underneath. A ghost. What'd you say? It was an old tale that my grandmother used to tell me when I was a kid. Moon goes. Embodiment of pure evil. Pure evil? Pure evil. According to the story, there was a vibrant civilization living on the moon. But a sorcerer or wizard or something accidentally conjured up a monster. And then it destroyed the entire lunar civilization. Whoa. According to legend, one day Moongos would escape its prison on the moon and wreak havoc on other worlds, including ours. And do you think that's what ate Fritz? That or a bear? It, it wasn't a bear. It, it was Moon Ghost. I would like to believe this. I really would. My own poor granny went to her grave insisting that it was real. I mean, uh, the whole family thought she was off her rocker. They committed her. Whole nine yards. Still, she never stopped telling us that Moon Ghost was coming for all of us. Moon Ghost would kill us in our sleep, in our beds. Moon Ghost would bring the apocalypse. But believe me, kid, <laughs> Moon Ghost is just a legend. <laughs> it's Moon Ghost! <gasps> Randy was a movie! She was right! <laughs> back to the cars. I don't see any signs. Oh God, come on, come on. Selena? Selena?
Then the video feed went blank. We tried reaching out to them on every possible channel, uh, but it's all dead. We're a little concerned that none of them survived. Well, obviously. Who else knows about this? Just Elmer and me and now you. Good. If word gets out, we'll have a full-blown panic on our hands. A panic, Director White? A mysterious orb, alien carvings on a hidden moon temple, and a trio of dead astronauts. You bet your dress socks there'll be a panic, dumbass. What do we do now? Let me make some calls. In the meantime, just sit tight and don't show those recordings to anyone. Anyone. Understood. Hey guys, what's up? Nothing! Police station, this is Sergeant Hoop. Oh, uh, hello there, Commissioner. Well, what's that? A call from the old Willows campground? Well, I already talked to the captain about it, but uh, Loomis went to check it out, and that's the last I heard. Talk to Loomis. What happened to Loomis? How should I know? She's not answering the radio. Well, what do you want me to do about it? You want me to send someone to investigate the investigation? Hey, it's your dime, Mac. I mean, sir. Hey, anybody want to go looking for a missing cop and a monster? <laughs> Miss Gibbons, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? About what? The police got a call last night around 9 p.m. Resulted in the disappearance of four people, a police detective included. Oh? 
Apparently, the fellow that called in said his friend was attacked by some sort of um, ghost monster. And apparently, the fellow that called in was um, <clears throat> your boyfriend. I don't know anything about it. Miss Gibbons. Miss, 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 miss Gibbons. This story will come out with or without your help. Miss Gibbons. What happened out there? Did you see this monster, Miss Gibbons? What happened to Detective Sally Loomis? Miss Gibbons. How much do they know? They know that people are being slaughtered, and one of the victims called the police and said it was some kind of ghost monster. <laughs> Is that all? Yeah. Then they don't know anything. <laughs> Director White. There's nothing to connect this back to NASA. <laughs> Look, Phoebe, sooner or later, someone's going to realize that this thing started killing people in the middle of Commander Darklove's mission to the moon. And then- With what evidence? Exactly. So what do we do now? Let me make a few calls. In the meantime, just sit tight and don't say anything to anyone. Keeping busy, guys? Read the room, Luther! Gosh! Raindrop. Do you want to hear a poem I wrote for you? I don't just want to hear it. I need to hear it. <laughs> okay. I stare into the windows of your eyes like a, a tom peeping into your soul. Your light touches mine. Cosmic rays forge our love dust from the stars, the shimmer of a comet's tail, the solar winds through your billowing celestial hair. My love for you is a supernova, and I'm exploding eternally, baby. The end. Quasar. That was transcendent. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Love really is the solution to everything. Oh, you got that right, baby. <laughs> there. I saw them all get... You know what? I don't want to talk about it. Should I come over and make dinner? No, Mom. I could make brownies. 
You're not driving two hours to bring me brownies. Fine. If you won't talk to me, is there someone else you can talk to? Who am I going to talk to, Mom? All my friends are dead. Oh, honey. I, I have to go. I love you, Selena. Call me if you need just saying to call me if you need anything. Okay, Mom. I love you. I love you too. Yeah, I'm sorry, Rick. Can't Jesse cover my shift? I told you it's personal. Well, I don't know what else to tell you. I'm not coming in today. You've seen a ghost, or a ghoul, or even a goblin. Call us, Diana and Ronnie, ghost punches, and we'll come to your rescue. Our super sophisticated mm -hmm. technology helps us detect poltergeists, hauntings, and what have you. We can even perform exorcisms or cleanings if you or a loved one or building have been inhabited by some malevolent entity. <laughs> Evil spirit, be gone! <gasps> Diana, you just punched a ghost out of me! I sure did. So if you need some paranormal but detected or even kicked, call us professionals, Diana and Ronnie. Ghost Punchers! Hey Cosmo, it's Sarah. I completely lost all water pressure again. I thought you were gonna fix this. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't appreciate having to deal with this problem every other day. <sighs> I don't care, just do your job and fix this. Fine, thank you.
You've seen the news lately? Which news? Dude, there's tons of news. The news about the police detective and the campers that were... Oh yeah, they were like brutally ripped apart by some monster or something, right? What? Oh, oh. Um, <clears throat> sorry, did you know the deceased? Jerry, my boyfriend, uh, and Lisa and Fritz, they were my friends. Bummer. Were you actually there when it happened? That must have been awful. It was. So, like, wait, was there really a monster? It... It was Moon Ghost? Dude, you saw Moon Ghost? You know about Moon Ghost? Yes, we are very well read. Yeah, there's a whole chapter on it in the Big Book of Moon Myths by Apollo York. Moon Ghost supposedly wiped out an entire civilization on the moon before he was captured by the last moon wizard and imprisoned in a moon temple. So, what's he doing here? And why is he killing everyone? I have no idea how he's here, but... He's uh, Moon Ghost, right? Like, killing is his whole thing. So, all Moon Ghost does is kill people? Yeah, pretty much. How do we stop him? I, I mean, it took a flippin' moon wizard in the legend. Right. B b but he's a ghost, right? And you two know how to fight ghosts. Not exactly. But you're commercial. We are very well versed in paranormal studies and sciences. We just, well... We've we never actually seen a ghost. <sighs> oh, this is perfect. Well, hold up, dude. We still know what to do. We trained with famous spiritualist Jeffrey Westlake. And we both have degrees in physics and metaphysics. From real universities. Just take us to where it happened. We'll bring our gear and see what we can do. But if we fail, more people might die. Maybe us. Look, just give us a chance, okay? Good looking superheroes. Happy Halloween. Thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, that's a great costume. You guys say trick or treat? You want some candy? Not really getting in the spirit of things, are we? All right, happy Halloween. Ghost person? Anybody? Mm -hmm. There's like, no clues or anything. Are you getting anything on that? Nothing unusual. Mm. I'll try the EVP. Uh, what's EVP? Electronic voice phenomena, dude. Yeah, we use a special recorder to try to pick up voices from the other side. But Moon Ghost isn't on the other side. He's on this side. The side he can eat us. Oh yeah. Good point. You said that Moon Ghost stopped before eating you though. Yeah. It was really weird. Can you show us where that happened? 
We'll go this way. There's this green ore thing here. It, it was glowing, and I think it was calling to me. Dude, a glowing green orb called to you? That is awesome! There's something strange here. I'm getting clear electromagnetic readings. Well, what does that mean? Some people who've witnessed paranormal events have reported fluctuations in electromagnetic energy. Yeah, like how static electricity makes your hair stand on end. Exactly. Oh. What happened to the orb you found? Did I take it home? Can we see it? Sure. Dude. Awesome! A strong electromagnetic reading, this thing is off the charts. There must be crazy amounts of psychokinetic energy in there. So, what is it? Where did it come from? Could be from outer space or an alternate dimension. Might be a relic of an ancient order of mystics or some kind of unknown sentient being. <laughs> Could be a freaking dragon's egg. <laughs> That's absurd. Sentient being? Whatever, dude. Go jump in a lake. So when now? Does it have something to do with Moon Ghost? <sighs> Hard to say. You'll need to talk to the real expert. Who's that? Apollo York. The dude wrote the book. I'm just ready for this whole Moon Ghost thing to be over. Easier done than said. Moon Ghost! <sighs> Diana! You just punched Moon Ghost! In the face! Sweet! Hell yeah! Ah! Ronnie! Death to Moon Ghost! <laughs> I am bushed. Can you take out the trash, Larry? Mm, I'll do it in the morning. You'll sleep in and you'll miss it again. No, I won't. You will. Not this time. Do it now. Marge. Do it now. Happy to know the trash is outside. Why don't you give me a kiss and we can get some sleep, huh? Marge, where is your head? Mm -hmm. ah! You say a ghost monster ate your cat? And your little dog too? 
What's that? A ghost monster ate your grandparents? What? A ghost monster ate your pizza? Oh, the ghost monster ate the pizza delivery driver. You say a dingo ate your baby? And a ghost monster ate the dingo? What? A ghost monster ate the mayor? This is insane! Indeed it was insane. In the coming days, reports of moon ghost sightings increased across all states, all countries, all continents. Tales of moon ghost wreaking havoc, leaving a trail of death and destruction in his wake, the likes of which had never before been seen on this earth. Extra, extra, read all about it. Thousands of people are missing or dead. Could it be the work of the campground ghost monster? Only a buck to find out. It's a hoax, kid. Fake news. <laughs> Even if it's real, it doesn't matter. Car accidents kill more people. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Holy mackerel! So it seems that more people have died. Like, a lot more. A lot. But still no evidence to link it back to NASA. Well, no, but... Fine, I'll make a few calls. Sit tight. Don't say anything. Hang up! This is getting ridiculous. <laughs> hey, did you hear about all the weird monster killings? Monsters? <laughs> ridiculous! <laughs> no! Miss Gibbons, Ace Manley City Herald, please don't shut the door on me again. Uh, uh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Nice place. What do you want? You already wrote your stories. Miss Gibbons, you know something. Everybody's dead. The end. Come on, Selena. I can call you Selena. Yeah. Come on, Selena. You have seen the ghost monster. As far as I can tell, you're the only one who's seen it and survived. <sighs> okay, look, this may sound weird, but I think it's from outer space. What makes you say that? The attack started the same day that the team of astronauts went missing on the moon. Oh? NASA has tried to remain very hush, but Commander Fred Darklove and his team were doing some sort of research. NASA was publishing its reports several times a day, and then it just stopped. Well, No explanation. Just nothing. So, what, you think it killed them and then came to Earth? Maybe. Would explain why... NASA and the feds are trying to remain so mum. I'm not with NASA or the government. What do you expect me to say? Selena, just tell me what you know. Heck, tell me what you think you know. I don't know much. Just stories, legends. Well, let's start there. Have you heard of moon ghost? What the hell is a moon ghost? 
an evil entity from the moon. It's said to have wiped out all civilization there thousands of years ago. Uh -huh. Apparently it's not as much of a myth as we once thought. And was your people that unleashed this thing? Inadvertently, yes. What do y'all want from me? Mr. Secretary. Oh, shucks, baby. Y'all can call me Wayne, you know that? That's at the motel. At work, I'd like to keep things professional. Okie dokie. As of right now, there is no direct evidence linking Moon Ghost back to us, and that's how we'd like things to stay. Uh -huh. But most of my staff are dead now. Uh -huh. Sooner or later, we're going to have to do something. Why? It's killing hundreds of people every day. Uh -huh. So there's that. All right, fine. I can make a few phone calls, check in with the president, Meantime, why don't you and your people just sit tight, okay? Mm. I love it when you exercise your administrative authority. <laughs> Save it for the motel, Director White. I'm so sorry. Don't know what came up for me. So let me get this straight. The moon wizard imprisoned the moon ghost on the moon thousands of years ago. According to the legend. So, maybe it didn't just kill the astronauts. Maybe the astronauts released it. I guess that's possible. Possible? Hot dog! It's a home run! Of course NASA wants to keep this quiet if it's all their fault. But it's not their fault. Fault? Not really. It, it was probably an accident. Yes, 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 of course. Could you imagine the headlines? NASA stooges unleash ancient monster. Big bold letters. It's gonna sell a million copies. A billion copies. A trillion copies. Do people uh, still read newspapers? I've got to get down to the office to write this. But this isn't just about selling newspapers, is it? It's about convincing people that there's a real danger. Right? Sure. We'll do that, too. Oh, one more thing. How exactly did this uh, moon wizard imprison the moon ghost? I don't know. But I think I have an idea on how to find out. Swell. Why don't we compare notes after you figure it out? <laughs> Ta. apocalypse that's upon us is judgment from the Lord. Judgment for all the sins of this wicked world. Sins of the heart, sins of the mind, and my personal favorite, the sins of the flesh. But even in the midst of all this death and destruction, ain't no need to be pessimistic. No. There's a means of salvation and I'm going to help you out. All you have to do is partner with the pastor Myron Scratch Ministries. Send us a contribution and we can pray for you. Get the moon ghost right off the bat. Now, you contribute a little bit, $10, $20, we're gonna pray for you a little bit. You contribute a lot, $100, $200, $1,000, we're gonna pray for you a lot. And as a special added bonus, just cause I'm that kind of guy, if you contribute $200 more, you want to get this complimentary t-shirt that says, I survived the moon ghost apocalypse. It's got a regular street value of $29.95 and it's going to be yours absolutely free. So, get out that checkbook. You write up a check and send it in to the Pastor Myron Scratch Ministries. We're going to partner together and we're going to blow moon ghost away with the breath of the Lord. Now, y'all, want y'all to try it with me now. We're going to blow. Charlie, where are you going? Just out to sign my papers. Well, don't be out too late. You gotta be at the coal mine early tomorrow. <sighs> okay, Mom. It won't work. Yes, it will. No, it won't. Yes, it will. No, it won't. Guys, you have to be quiet. Did 
nice to hear that. It was probably just a bird or something like that. No way. It was. Oh, yes. Ah! You consumed my brother! Yes? I'm Selena Gibbons. We spoke on the phone earlier. Yes, yes, of course. Come in, please. Uh, please, have a seat. Now then. about it in your book. Uh, of course. I cranked out that little ditty during a crazy weekend in Atlantic City 15 years ago. Hmm. In the book, you say that Moon Ghost was defeated by the last Moon Wizard. Yes. But it didn't say how. Uh, well, that is a interesting yarn. You see, Moon Ghost had wiped out nearly all of the lunar civilization. Of the original eight Moon Wizards, only one remained. Of course. I have a copy of Sir Whitley Marbleton's Lunar Chronicles here somewhere. Ah. Sigmund, the last moon wizard, had imprisoned Moon Ghost in a mystical talisman and then sealed it inside the sacred moon temple, where it's remained for thousands of years. Interesting yarn. But, uh, pardon me for asking. Why are you so interested in Moon Ghost? Why? Because he is out there killing everyone? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, that's just silly. Moon Ghost, if he ever really existed, is trapped inside the Moon Temple, if that ever really existed, on the Moon, if that even really exists. Don't you watch the news? Moon Ghost does exist. I I've seen him. Thousands of other people. Hot diggity! I knew it! They called me mad, bonkers, wacko. But I knew the moon ghost was real. I knew he would come and kill us all one day. I was right. <laughs> this is joyous news. I'm happy for you, Dr. York. But what about moon ghost? Yes? He will need to be studied. New books will need to be written. <laughs> this is a momentous occasion, truly momentous. But how do we stop it? There is a prophecy passed down 
by the last moon wizard when he immigrated to Earth. Yes? Only when the one with the full moon in their eyes is sacrificed will the moon ghost be defeated. translation from the original lunar reads, of course. So I have to die in order to kill it? You. What makes you think the prophecy has anything to do with you? The Orb of Sigmund. I found it the night the attacks began. It called to me. The orb of Sigmund called to you. Oh my. What? What does this mean? Miss Gibbons. You are the chosen one. The final descendant of Sigmund. The last moon wizard. I'm descended from a moon wizard? Naturally. That is why the orb calls to you. Stop him. But how can I do that if I also have to be sacrificed? Clearly, Moon Ghost won't go anywhere near you. If you have the orb in hand, you will have to face him without it. But how am I supposed to imprison him if I'm dead? It's a heck of a catch 22, isn't it? Chapter one, Moon Ghost is real. So, Professor Reginald Sunspot III from Yale. You can go kiss a duck. Mm -hmm. 
so we meet at last. I guess I won't be finishing this new book today after all. Well, I... Let's be friends. Mm. <laughs> Mr. President, we gotta act real quickly like here. This whole moon ghost thing is getting way out of hand. Hundreds of thousands of people are dead, sir. We gotta get on this thing like ticks on a hound dog, you know what I mean? I saw in the news it's all NASA's fault. Let them deal with it. I have spoken. But sir, uh, everybody at NASA is dead? And even if they weren't, they ain't equipped to handle something like this. Are you questioning my decision? No, but... It sounds like you're questioning my decision. Mr. President, your, your eminency, if I may, I just feel that a national emergency of this scope requires some executive intercession. Like the military? Yeah, probably. Fine. Let's blow some shit up. President out. Yeah, this is Wayne Waxman. No, you turkey, the Secretary of Defense. Initiate Operation Big Kaboom. denies any involvement with this moon ghost. I'm sure the truth will come out. Just sit tight. Director White was reportedly eaten by moon ghost just minutes after making that statement. Any other questions? Yes, you, the moon ghost in the front row. <laughs> Meanwhile, despite all evidence and obvious facts, Megan Rich, founder of the channel Liberty Citizens Against Moon Hoax, is calling on government officials and the scientific community to admit that Moon Ghost is not a real threat after all. It's just the latest in a string of hoaxes created by political extremists. I mean, do they really expect us to believe in something as ridiculous as Moon Ghost? Moon Ghost? Ha! Huh. It's all a plot to distract us from the real threat. Microchips are being implanted into desserts and candy bars so big chocolate can track our movements and turn us into socialist puppy killing pod people. It's on my blog, which you can read by downloading my exclusive app. Make sure to smash that like and subscribe. And remember, there is no moon ghost. <laughs> well, try to flank him then. You go left, he goes right, you get him. Oh, excuse me, uh, what year is this? I'm looking for the Roaring Twenties. <laughs> Hot dog, front line coverage. I'm going to get a Pulitzer for sure. Ah! Oh, nerds, this is the wrong 20s. This isn't a great time, Mom. Honey, have you heard about this terrible moon? ghost that's killing everyone? Yes, Mom. That's the thing that ate all my friends when we were camping. I'm coming to get you. No, Mom. 
Let's just stay. I am not going to let some space monster eat my precious baby. <sighs> Mom, there is nothing you can do. And I'm bringing brownies. Mother! I need you to stop. You can't help me. No one can help me. Not Jerry, or the police, or ghost punchers, or Dr. York. And not even you. Did you say ghost punchers? I love you, Mom. But this is something I have to do myself. Okay, honey. Just, just please be careful. You will, Mom. What's that? You say Moon Ghost ate your entire football team? Well, what do you mean nothing's working? Well, hit him harder! Nuke the bastard! No, not literally nuke him. Just kill him! Look at this crowd. Is there a new war going on up there that nobody told me about? It's Moon Ghost. Moon Ghost? Ah, oh, great. I'm gonna be putting in some heavy overtime tonight. You say Moon Ghost just devoured everyone at the UN? I'm gonna call in some reinforcements. has wiped out the whole U.S. Army? Can anyone stop this horrifying creature? Mm. Ah! States military. There's nobody left. According to star reporter Ace Manley, Moon Ghost is a being from the moon who... Wait a second. This just in. Ace Manley has been eaten by Moon Ghost. Oh, what's the point anymore? Jim, what are we doing here? We're all gonna die. Carolyn, go home to your kids for crying out loud.
Hello, Selina. Welcome to the mystical realm of the Undermoon. Are you? Sigmund, the last moon wizard. Wow. The last? Until now. What do you mean? Only through your noble sacrifice could Moon Ghost be defeated. Now that you have died, you may be reborn as the new Moon Wizard. Oh. Um. I didn't die. What? I didn't die. Well, that doesn't make any sense. I mean, the prophecy, you needed to be sacrificed. I just outsmarted Moon Ghost. But that's not the prophecy. Maybe you misunderstood? Don't lecture me on interpreting Moon prophecy, young lady. I've been around longer than you've existed. <sighs> okay, fine. Then you were right, and I'm dead. Well, regardless, you have defeated Moon Ghost. Therefore, you may take up the mantle of being Moon Wizard. Okay. Cool. Mm, it is cool. So, what am I supposed to do with the orb? Do I just lock it in my closet? <laughs> no. The orb will return to the cosmos and find a hiding place on its own. Okay. So, what do I do now? Return to your Earth and be the best moon wizard you can be. Almost, Mom. Almost. Well, I won't keep you. I just wanted to make sure you weren't dead. That's okay. Hey, Mom? Yes, honey? I could sure go for some brownies. I'll be there in two hours. Maybe faster since traffic will be light. You know, what with all the death and everything. I'll see you soon. Bye, honey. Bye, Mom. So, Moon Ghost's merciless rampage is defeated once again. And let us hope it is for the last time. For the next time Moon Ghost attacks, there may not be the descendant of a Moon Wizard to save humanity. Only space and time will tell. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>